In this slide, you can see that we have several stages like input, splitting, mapping, shuffling, reducing, and the final result. So let's say that you have a text file and you have certain words in it. You want to count the number of words. That means that you want to find out the frequency of each of the words. So how does map reduce work? So as you can see, the splitting part is where it has divided a particular file into three parts. So the first part is deer, bear, river, car, car, river, and deer, car, bear. Now in the map phase, so deer is one, bear is one, river is one. So we have taken the key as the word, and then we have uh, also the value as one. So for this part, deer, bear, one, sorry, so deer, bear, one, we are just counting the number of each word. So deer is one, bear is one, river is one. Here car is one, again car is one, and river is one. We are not aggregating here. We are just for each of the words, we are saying that, okay, car comes one time. Similarly, deer one, car one, bear one. So this is your map phase. We talked about the map phase, which takes a set of data and converts and generates another set of data. So now we have this particular three sets of data. Now in between shuffling will happen. Shuffling means uh, what happens is these three, uh, the three parts of the file will be shuffled across and the, 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 with the same key will be gone together. For example, bear here, bear is here also. So bear one, bear one is together. Now car one, car one, car one came three times. Deer, deer and river, river. In the shuffling phase, this is an additional phase between map and reduce that uh, we'll discuss later. Finally, when we shuffling is finished, the I told you that reduce combines the output of map. So here now, since beer one and beer one is here, so now we are aggregating so beer two, car three, deer two, river two. So this is uh, this actually generated four parts. Now finally, we are generating the result where we have a file which will contain the result and it will be sorted by key. So the, your key will be your word and value will be your frequency of the word. So here beer is two, car is three, deer is two and river is two. So as you saw that we had a huge file and the file was split into several parts. Each of the parts, the computation were performed on each of the parts in parallel and finally aggregated later at the reduce phase. So this is the core of MapReduce framework. So since I explained you how the MapReduce works, now we'll see uh, the actual program of the Map and Reduce. So this is a sample program and that counts um, the frequency of words in a given file. And as you can see that uh, we have three different classes. So we have WC driver, mapper, and reducer. So let's uh, see the mapper. So in this, this is a class which extends a mapper class. And we, we have to uh, uh, implement a method called map. And uh, as you can see, it's a very small uh, line of code where it is splitting by space. Whatever the content in your file is, it is splitting by space. And then for each of the words, which, which are uh, in the um, this particular words array, it is writing as the key. Here you can see that uh, I told you that map output is key and value. So it is writing the word as a key and the value one um, as one. So like dear one, car one, you remember? So exactly like that it will do. At the reducer phase, we have initialized the sum to zero, the sum, sum variable. And what happens in the reduce phase is for each of the key, it will do an aggregation. So we are iterating through the values and we are aggregating. Finally, we are writing the key and the actual sum. So for example, car came three times. So car and then three. Similarly, deer came two times. So deer, two. So similarly, uh, it is writing the key value pairs. The driver program, actually, we need to define certain things here. This is a Hadoop-based uh, program. 
So as you can see here, uh, we have a job, we have a configuration class, we have a job class, and we need to set, set certain things. Like for example, for each of the job, we need to set what is the mapper class, what is the reducer class, what is the key class for the map output. So map output will be text. So just like in normal, uh, if you know about Java, we have a string. In Hadoop, we have something as text which is uh, uh, just like string. And in Java, we have int, but in Hadoop, we have int writable. In MapReduce, we have int writable. So the output of map is text, and um, the key is text, the value is int. So this is, this is uh, the set output key class. This is the reducer um, output. So reducer output is text. That means you the word which I told you, for each word, the, we have, will have the frequency. So output will be the word and the value will be intratable, the count of the words. And we are uh, passing um, certain command line arguments to, to this program. And finally, we are uh, running this Hadoop job. Um, so let's see this in, a, um, in action. So give me a moment. Let's let me open a terminal. Okay, yeah. So, um, Hadoop. let me go to that folder, CD, Cloud Data, then we go to Idea Project, then we have a uh, for that I want to show you uh, what is how HDFS uh, looks like. So we have if you want to see uh, um, like I told you Hadoop distributed file system. So HDFS uh, is the command and you if you want to see what are the files in Hadoop distributed, distributed file system. You can type HDFS DFS hyphen FS and let's say that we want to see the root. So it will show you all of the directories uh, in the Hadoop HDFS. We are interested in data. Um, I have kept the data, I've kept some uh, sample data in the data folder. So we have test.txt. So if you want to see the contents, you can apply this command. Here we have a sample file, uh, which has a simple content. Hi, hello, hi guys, welcome guys. Let's say that we want to count uh, the frequency. So in normal scenarios, you'll have a very huge file. For this demo purpose, let's say that this is your file and you want to uh, find the frequency using MapReduce program. So now uh, we have also an output directory here. So if you want to store the output uh, of, a, of a MapReduce program, that directory should not be there the Hadoop, uh, the MapReduce framework automatically creates that output directly. So we will delete that. DFS, DFS, fun RMR, that. We have deleted this. And now we'll go to, we'll go and we'll run that program. Do. Are. then uh, we need to provide uh, the driver uh, the main class let's say what is the name of our main class what is the package com.ashu dot wc driver and then we need to provide input path from where we are going to read and then we need to provide out. Now let's run this program. So you'll see that uh, um, it will. Uh, you'll see a lot of uh, messages here. Just ignore the, this for now. All we are interested in is the, is the output.
and uh, after a while when the map and reduce so here you, you can see that uh, the map and reduce phase i'll i'll show you let it print so as you can see here map 0% reduce 0% So it is reading the file, it is splitting the file in the map phase and uh, it will process um, parallelly. So this uh, one more thing is I'm running my on my local system. So here uh, the Hadoop is installed in pseudo distributed mode. For example, so here all of the components of Hadoop are running uh, in this particular system as separate daemon processes. So here map, uh, now you can see that map is 100% complete. Now reduce phase will uh, trigger. This is a Cloudera uh, quick start virtual machine. Uh, this is an image which I downloaded from Cloudera and it is available uh, publicly. If you want to experiment, you can download. So now our, uh, we can see that our uh, map reduce program is finished. So let's say we have uh, the output folder and we want to see dfs dfs hyphen less let's say that we have let's see whether we have uh, the output directory created or not we have uh, the output directory created for us and uh, inside that we have two files we have success underscore success and we have a part hyphen r hyphen zero 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 so this file is actually produced by the reducer phase and this success means that the job was successfully completed. So let's see the content of the file. And then this file. Let's say that data output. So as I told you that uh, it will generate the key value pairs and uh, by word you can see let me print the, uh, the original content of the file so after we ran the map reduce program in the output we can see that guys came two times hello one times hi one time and welcome one time this is the original file and this is the your map this is generated by our map reduce program where uh, it is sorted by the key 